Hi everyone, today we are doing this floral print nail design. The roses are created with a super easy technique so no drawing is required at all to create this look. This design is great for summer and it suits both short and long nails. If you have a favorite type of flower, let me know in the comments below. Do you like it because of how it looks or how it smells? As always, apply base coat to protect your nails. On your index and ring finger, apply a pale pink polish as your base color. For the thumb, middle and pinky finger, apply a red polish. If you get any spillage onto your cuticles, just grab a flat brush soaked in polish remover and wipe away the excess. Having alternating colors on your nails will make the print even more interesting to look at. To create the flowers, roughly dab an area of the nail with the brush from your nail polish bottle. Since I just cut my nails recently, I can only fit two in. Depending on how long your nails are, you can add more to fill the spaces. While that is still wet, quickly dab a bit of white polish in the center. Not too much though. Then use an orange stick or a toothpick and mix the colors together to create this swirl effect which makes it look like the flowers have lots of layers. This is a totally optional step, but I like to add a little bit of glitter in the flower center. It doesn't show up in daylight, but at night, it gives it a little bit of sparkle. Using contrasting colors, for the fingers with the red base color, start with the white polish as the flower color, and add in a dab of red polish in the center to create the swirls. This is a super easy technique to create flowers, which I have used in other tutorials as well. If you would like to see more, check out my flower nails playlist linked below. Now onto the leaves. Use a detail brush or a liner brush and pick up some green polish. You can dot in the leaves by pressing the tip of the brush onto the nail at an angle. You can mix it up with the leaves. Two dots is the most common. You can also do three if you have the room or some random falling leaves too. Do the same on the other fingers and try to make it look random and not all the same. Next, grab a medium sized dotting tool and fill in the empty areas with white dots. Once you're done, apply top coat to protect your designs for a lasting finish. If you like this video, please rate it, share it and add it to your favorite playlist. Please subscribe for updates, I upload new videos every Thursday, Wednesday if you're in the US or Canada. Check out my flower nail art playlist for more inspirations and thank you for watching.